All right, welcome out to the Suits Crafting Wood Shop. Today in the shop, we are going to be finding out whether or not glitter will cast up into alumilite correctly or if it doesn't all settle to the bottom. What I need to know is if I mix glitter in with a colored pigment blank, if I'll be able to cast it into it, see into it, and actually see the specks of glitter in there or if it's not going to work out at all and they all settle. I need them to stay buoyant within the, the alumilite. So let's go ahead and see if this is going to work. I've got a uh, dice mold here that I made uh, to, in order to create five dice at the same time. So we are going to go ahead and get some alumilite mixed up and pour it into these molds and then we will just find out for ourselves. So we'll get this on here. We will tear weight that out. And let's just make up 25 grams of resin. Now we'll just go with 12. Do 24. Alright, zero that out. Add our A side. There we go. Get that out of our way. And let's mix this up. And we mix it till clear. You can see it's all kind of cloudy white and it's got all these little lines and ripples through it. And we wait until it turns absolutely clear before we pour this or mix in our color. So we just keep going. Be sure to scrape our sides, scrape our bottom. All right. Now we add our glitter. It's got a nice screw top, which I'm happy to see. Let's see. I think that should be... I don't know. I think that's enough right there. There we go. I think that's good. Mix that in. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's good. We'll go ahead and leave them partially clear. And now we'll just go ahead and pour this into our mold. Looks like 24 just barely does one full mold of this stuff. I'm going to take a popsicle stick and just kind of stir that back up a little bit. Actually, let's see if I can't put the extra on this side over here. Stir that up a little bit again. There we go. Make sure that's level. There we go. Put our mold in there. Grab our lid. Put our lid on. Close it up. Grab our air hose, put it on, and we'll fill her up. Bring it up 60 psi. And we'll call it good. And there we go. Now we'll let that sit for a few hours. All right, time for the grand reveal. Let's let our air out.
undo our pot here. We will take this, go over here. Let's take those out. All right, let's pop these out of there and see what we got. Looking at it from the top, it looks like they may have settled. I don't think that the litter stayed buoyant throughout. I think that it settled down into the bottom. Got our first one coming out here. Yep, that glitter most definitely settled to the bottom. It did not stay up at the top. You can see all the glitter right there at the bottom. And then the rest of the dye is absolutely clear. So it's a couple of pieces that did stay aloft, but uh, most of them all settled down to the bottom. Well, let's take a look at the rest of the pieces. Yep, same there. So it looks like that's going to be the result that we got from this cast. So this glitter is not going to work for casting. Thank you so much for joining me out in the shop today. Be sure to subscribe. That way you can catch future videos where I'm going to be testing out even more glitters to try and find one so that way I have a working glitter that will work for a future casting for a customer's pen. Thanks again for joining me out in the shop. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. This is Suits Crafting signing out.